Alright, um, this is going to be an updated version of a video that I released a couple of days ago regarding the process of ripping models from Sonic Riders. Um, and hopefully this one will be complete and, you know, not have any issues and it should be relatively easy to follow. There is a slight difference to the one I initially made. This video will involve command line because of how GameCube versions of Riders compressed uh, files. If you're running the PC version, you will not have to do one of the steps in this video that involves the command line, and I will point that out to you when we get to it. However, before we do that, let's talk about the point of this. So, all we are gonna do here is we are going to rip models from the game, put them in Blender along with their textures, and this is mainly so texture editors can uh, look at textures they make in the model, you know, in, in real time. Uh, as well as like make minor tweaks to models or port models to, I don't know, whatever project you have in Unity or whatever, I don't know. Um, I'm not a modeler myself, so I'm not going to tell you guys how to do comes after. I'm just going to tell you how to get the model and its textures into Blender. So step one, if you don't have Blender, install it. Uh, just go to the Blender website, click on the download link, go through the install process. There's like 50 million YouTube videos on how to do this if you, for whatever reason, struggle, although it should be relatively straightforward. Next thing you need to do is go to the Sega NN Tools page on GitHub. Uh, this will be linked in the description if you can't find it. When you're on this page, click on releases here, then click on the zip file. Okay, I already have this downloaded, but if you click on this, it will just download it uh, to your downloads folder, usually. If you have a different download path, bear that in mind. Step three, open Blender click on edit, click on preferences, click on the install button, go to your downloads page, find Sega NN Tools zip, click on it, and then click install add-on. Once you've installed it, search it in the box uh, or in the add-ons list and make sure you have the box ticked, okay? Uh, I'm gonna refresh for good measure and then I'm gonna close. At this point, you want to restart Blender, okay? I'm not gonna do this because my Blender takes about 30 seconds to open, but restart Blender or you will have problems, okay? So now we've done that and we have all the tools set up for uh, importing models into Blender, we need to actually acquire the models themselves. And this is a relatively simple process. It will involve the command line if you're doing this from GameCube, okay? If you click on, uh, I get NN tools here on the tab. You click on file extraction. There's also a little thing here that tells you what version you're on. If there are updates, it will tell you. But I'm on the latest version. I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, we are going for Sonic Riders GC here. Okay. But first, we need to acquire those files. Um, at this point, it's really good if you have Dolphin. Because Dolphin will allow you to do this relatively easily. It doesn't matter which version of Dolphin you have, be it 5.0 or uh, the version I'm more familiar with, which is the developer Dolphin. You can do this on EXGL Dolphin if you want. All of these work. But uh, all you have to do is, uh, once you have Dolphin, open, find your game in Dolphin, right-click on it, click on Properties, Make sure it's the right game. So I know this is my 1.01 .01 ISO. It doesn't matter if you're using vanilla or whatever version of Riders. Right click on the disk, click on extract entire disk, and then pick a folder uh, where your games are stored. So I know that my uh, Riven Files, Dolphin, Games, 
uh, I'm going to extract them to here. Okay, you would click select folder here and you'll get a loading bar and it will tell you when it's done effectively. So once that's done, we're done with Dolphin. We don't need it anymore. Go to your file where you have downloaded um, Dolphin or where you've extracted your files. In my case, it's here. Files, you will see a bunch of files here. If you don't know what the files are, don't worry. Fortunately for the first version of Riders, there is a nice web page here made by Sewer56, who is one of the devs, and this lists every single file that's in the Riders uh, ISO. So we want, I don't know, Knights plus Blue, uh, not Blue Star, that's not a gear, uh, Speed Balancer, why not? We know that Knights and Speed Balancer for single player is in file P006 and the multiplayer one is in P006M. Okay, open this up, find P006. Uh, I don't have it here, why not? There it is. I do have it, I don't know why it didn't come up. So once you have this, uh, copy it or you can leave it here if you want. Um, I'm just going to copy it, I'm going to put it in a file where I have uh, a bunch of other files that I use to decompress stuff. And there's a reason for this. And the reason is, before we can use this file, we will need to decompress it. Okay? So in order to do that, we are going to need another tool, Sonic Riders LZSS. This link will also be in the description. Um, what you want to do here is click on code, click on download zip here. And then once you have this zip, Extract this zip into the folder where you've just put your file. If you want to work in the uh, directory where you've already extracted all the files, so this one, you can do that as well. You can just put those uh, files from the web page in here. But uh, I prefer working in this folder because uh, it's something I've done for a while now. Next up, command prompt. Before I continue here, I will say um, the Sonic Riders LZSS folder here. This is the file that we care about. And this is the file that we'll be using to enter command prompt. You can rename this file to whatever you want. So you can see that the name of this file is quite long. I have renamed this file to decomp.py. Okay. So first thing we need to do is navigate to this folder. So, First stop, if it's on a different drive, open that drive, then navigate to the folder by right clicking here, copying the, uh, the file path, typing in CD, pasting your file path. Okay, so now we're in this folder. So then you want to ecomp.py, which is the name of the uh, script. Unpack, because we want to unpack this file. The name of the file, which is p006, and then you want to type in here takeaway takeaway gamecube, and you'll see it's done here, and it will make a new file called decompressed.bin. Okay. At this point, this is something I like to do. Both of these files will still work in Dolphin if you want to repack them for whatever reason. Uh, in riders, uh, I mean to say. But what I'm going to do here is delete the original. The original is always smaller than the uh, the unpacked version. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to right click on decompress.bin and I'm going to name it what the old file was called. P006. Okay. That's all the command line we need. From here it's all Blender stuff. So, Sonic Riders GC. We want to extract these files now. Uh, Let's find that file. So click on here, click on extract files. You can extract a bunch of files by clicking recursive. Just make sure you decompress all of them. Extract files. See it says finished here. Um, this will make a folder called p006 underscore extracted or the name of your file underscore extracted. You can see I have one for Sonic here um, that I did for the zero gravity video. And in here, there are two files, one that has the gears shadow as a GNO, which is the model format, 
and then this one which has the actual player and gear model uh, in this case it's called nit.gvr or oh, sorry nc006.gno nit.gvr bd underscore shad.gvr and bd underscore ref.gvr are actually textures encoded in a format specific to riders fortunately there is a tool that can convert these textures to pngs okay and that tool is puyo tools uh, you can find this pretty easily by just googling puyo tools and clicking on the game banana link and scrolling down clicking manual download and unzipping it yeah at that point there will be an exe inside the folder called puyo tools.exe Conveniently for me, I can just type it on my start bar and it will come up. Texture, decode, add to output to the same directory. You can delete the textures as well if you don't want two versions of the texture. Uh, I'm not going to here. Add directory, copy this directory, paste it up here, select this folder, and run. Here you'll see I have three PNGs, one with the reflection map, this one which is the gear, this one which is Knights' actual texture. From here, it's just a case of importing these models into Blender. And we do that with the import model. Then you go to your file path. Uh, why is this not working? Uh, I guess it doesn't exist. E006 underscore extracted. Um, you can import one model at a time if you want. I'm just going to do a recursive and recursive texture search import so I get both models and all the textures into Blender. If you don't, if you didn't restart Blender after you installed this, this will break here. So make sure you've restarted Blender. There you go. Uh, I'm going to hide the bones, which you can do with these eyes here. Where I have knights on her gear, and the gear's shadow right here. Okay. Uh, I'm, go I'm just going to hide the shadow really quick, so you guys can see that it's knights on speed balancer. And if you want textures, you just click on this one. I think it's this one in here. Yep, there you go. That's knights on speed balancer what she looks like with the shadow uh, but the shadow is actually not really that relevant so you can just delete that one if you want uh, if you don't want to import the shadow all you do is import model and instead of recursive importing from here you go into the player folder and you click import making sure that the uh, recursive texture search is still on so you get all of the textures with your model and that's it. It's actually that simple. From here you can use your Blender expertise to edit textures in real time on the model, do things like, I don't know, check the UVs and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to go into that here. There's so many YouTube videos on that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is relatively straightforward to follow. If you guys have any questions? then either drop a comment or what would be more useful is if you entered the uh, stream gear labs discord page come and say hi uh, let me know i'm pretty much always active in this discord shout outs to arg who made the nn tools and sewer who made the file listing um, and shout outs to whoever made this i don't actually know this griever, I suppose, who made the uh, decompressor tool. Um, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, do pop in. Come and say hi. Let me know. And, yeah, thank you for watching.